do begin with a big story this morning, and that is the heat. Here in the valley, there is really no end in sight for now when it does come to a record setting stretch of triple digit days. So this comes as a number of people dying in this heat is also increasing. Maricopa County health officials releasing new numbers on Tuesday, confirming 150 heat related deaths so far this year and 443 others are still being investigated this morning and new legislation is being worked on to try to address it. We do want to get you right out to our Jamie Warren. She's live this morning with more on what this really could do for us living here in Arizona. Good morning. Good morning, Kaylee and Nick. What this legislation would do is give some funding to some of the heat relief related efforts happening across our state. You know, we do still have a few more weeks left of summer. I have to say in the early morning hours, it feels a little bit cooler if you could call it that just because of a slight breeze overnight. But in the middle of the day, those peak hours, that is when it is still unbearably hot. In fact, we continue to break records because we have seen here in the valley 92 days in a row of triple digits. The previous record was 76 consecutive days set back in 1993 and this record breaking heat is spreading across the country nationwide. Data shows that there were more than 2300 deaths last year. Sadly, that is the deadliest year ever and almost half of those deaths came from right here in Maricopa County. So it's called the Preventing Health Emergencies and Temperature Related Illness and Deaths Act. It is backed by Arizona Senator Kirsten Cinema. It was just approved by the US Commerce Committee and it would allocate $20 million over a five year span to expand the work that's being done at NOAA. That's the federal agency that monitors our climate. It would also allocate funds to state and local cities to continue studying our heat and educating our community. As Cinema says that it could also support roles like the Phoenix Chief Heat officer. That was a role just created earlier this year, and ABC 15 recently sat down with him to ask him if he felt that there were actually more heat related deaths than what is being reported because right now there is no standardized way to count them across our state. Here's what he had to say. We say in public health, if you look, you will find, right? And I think one of the things is help promoting awareness and let people know what they need to do and how they need to report. It is all, it is possible that it is underreported um, on that end. So this bill has not yet been signed into law. There's still another process that would need to take place before that happens. But Iris, this is just one of the many ways across our state that people are stepping up. Uh, they're wanting to see some change when it comes to this and potentially save lives, especially as our heat gets more intense, right? And potentially deadlier too, as we continue to deal with those climbing temperatures and those trends that continue to show that signature of climate change, urbanization, especially to also an impact uh, to our heat and to our temperatures.